Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Alan Gadgets. I'm making this video today specifically just to answer this question whether DJI Neo and DJI Flip has remote ID built in. This is one of the most commonly asked questions in my other video on how to register your drone with the Japan Authority. Before we get into the detail, if you are first time on my channel and you find this interesting or useful in any way and you like the things about camera, drones and gadgets, do consider subscribing to my channel and hitting on the bell button for future notification. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Remote ID has been adopted by more and more countries, Singapore being the next in line to start our own remote ID requirement beginning on the December 1st, 2025. So a lot of Singaporeans who are less um, knowledgeable about it, especially the hobbies and um, enthusiasts, they only learn about remote ID when they try to fly the drone overseas. But starting in Singapore, we need to have it too. So there'll be more and more talks about remote ID here in Singapore. In most parts of the world, you only need to register your drone and require to have a remote ID if your drone weighs above 250 grams. There are only two countries in exception that I know of. For Japan, in my last video on the registration to Japan, you need to register if your drones weigh above 100 grams. But China requires you to register all your drone and have remote ID. As the information is very inconsistent for DJI New and Flip, many would assume that these two being a small lightweighted drone will not have remote ID. Well, it's a yes and no because the remote ID doesn't tur get turned on in other countries that doesn't require them. Meaning to say they will only turn on the remote ID module and start broadcasting if you're flying in Japan or China. The rest of the world, they will not be turned on and broadcast. So if you are considering registering these two drones in Japan, simply just select remote ID built in under the form and once you select the radio button, you realize that all the field below it will be grayed out. And from there, you can continue as per normal. This is the same for all DJI drones that has a remote ID built in. That's all you need to do. You don't have to key in any other value unless it's a third party external remote ID. In that case, you will have to key in all the value yourself. So that's it. Just be assured that these two drone DJI New and Flip does have remote ID, but it only turns on in China and Japan. There's another one request that I want to address from that video is asking me if I could do out a, a guide on how to register your drone in China. So I up the game one more. And I will also do a guide on how to register your drone in Hong Kong. So even though Hong Kong is under China, but they're under a different government system jurisdiction. So you need to register for both sides if you are intending to visit both places. So one registration for Hong Kong and one registration for the rest of China. I'll be doing that uh, two videos coming up. So if you're interested in those videos on how to register in China and Hong Kong, and also things like uh, camera, drones and gadget, please click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button and watch out for those videos and other videos coming up next. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.